Okay, gang. <clears throat> so another thing you're going to have to do when dealing with carbohydrates, not only uh, in addition to knowing how to, you know, go from the straight chain Fisher projections to closing the ring with making a hemiacetal, you know, and able, being able to draw a chair, one thing you're gonna, that is helpful to know is how to take a Fisher projection and just, you know, kind of convert it to straight bond line uh, structure like that, right? With, I don't know, like, you know, dashes and, and wedges and all that jazz, right? Basically, just taking this from the Fisher projection and making it into a straight chain. Now, this is covered in the stereochemistry series here on Joechem, but I figured we might as well do just one or two examples. I figured we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to convert D-glucose as well as D-glucose, just for fun. Okay, so this is D-glucose uh, in all its glory. And remember, right, we can always double check ourselves that we have uh, a D-sugar if we look at this last stereo center and realize, oh, okay, that OH is on the right-hand side, D whatever the sugar is, okay? So, here's kind of how I kind of go about this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sugars, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a six carbon chain. Okay, so realize that our CH2OH is at the end of the chain, right? So here, what, we, what I'll do is, hmm, We'll do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And right here is our aldehyde, right? Our CHO. Okay. This is where the mental gymnastics come in, comes in very hard. So remember, if you can remember this, then while this kind of bends your mind a little bit, it's really not that difficult. In a Fisher projection, remember, all of these lines are dashes the vertical and uh, the up and down ones. All of the left to right are wedges, right? I can go through this whole Fisher projection and make this a dash, a dash, a dash, wedge, 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 wedge. So here's kind of what we have to think, right? So if I'm looking at this carbon in particular, right here, which is this carbon right here, Remember, I need to look at this and say, okay, this CHO, this, that aldehyde is going away from me. <clears throat> so when I go to this, look at this dot carbon, I'm going to kind of take this perspective, which is kind of weird, right? Because if I'm looking at it from here, you see how the CHO is going away from me? That's kind of the perspective I need, right? So if I'm kind of looking, so if I'm looking directly at the dot right here, the OH is on my right. So if I'm looking back at my CHO at the board. So my left is coming out of the board, my right's going through the board. So through the board is a dash, right? And that's kind of the game you have to play. So if I'm looking at this stereo center now, which is now this carbon right here, my perspective needs, I kind of need to look down at the dot, right? So if I'm looking at the dot, the OH is again on my right hand side, right? This above part where the aldehyde is going away from me, going down. So I need to go like this. So if I'm looking at the dot, the OH is on my right. If I'm looking down at the dot, my right is coming out of the board now. So this OH is a wedge. I'm hoping this game kind of makes sense to you guys. It's really weird when you first do it, but I promise, give it some practice. I'll have some on the worksheets and you'll be good at it in no time. So let's keep going. This dot, which is this carbon. So I need this like down perspective again. OH is on my left. When I get down here, left is out of the plane of the board. This carbon is a wedge. And finally, last carbon, OH is on my right. I'm gonna look, right, if I dot this carbon too, right, this needs to be away from me. I need to stand up like this. OH is on my right, right is out of the board, wedge. So hopefully that made a little sense to you. Let's do another example, let's do d -glucose, and then we will call this video a wrap. Okay gang, so now that we've tackled D-glucose, let's give d -glucose a try, right? D because we have the OH on the last stereo center, off to the right. So remember, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbon sugar, out high. 
So six carbon aldose, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? I'm going to put my CH2OH right here. Put my aldehyde over here. All right, time to play our weird mental gymnastics game, right? So I'm going to look at this first carbon, one down from the aldehyde. The OH is on my right-hand side. So I need to remember, the aldehyde needs to be going away from me because this is a dash. So I need to take this perspective, right? And I said OH was on my right up here. My right hand would be going through the board. So this is a dash. Okay? Still looking at the next carbon. OH is on my right hand side. Remember, since uh, uh, my carbon's right here, I need these two to be going away from me. So I'm going to go step up like this. My right hand's coming out of the board. OH is a wedge. Okay? Look at this carbon. OH is on my left hand side. My carbon's here. I need these two be facing away from me. So OH is on my left. I'm going to get down here. My left is coming out of the board towards you, the camera. That's a wedge. Last carbon right here. I'm going to look at the stereo center. OH is on my right. So I need these two to be going away from me. OH on my right. My right is coming at the camera, you guys. It's a wedge. Okay, that's how you go from a Fisher projection to our straight line bond structure. And I'm going to leave it as a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to probably make you guys go from this to a Fisher projection on the worksheet. But if you think about it, it's just everything in reverse. All you'd have to do is draw your CHO and your CH2OH at the bottom, draw your lines for how many carbons you have, and then you'd have to just play this game all over again.